Gen Z channel will be bringing you all that will be happening on ground. Moving on, President William Ruto has broken his silence following the demonstrations over the contentious finance bill. Ruto, who was speaking in Kericho County, said Kenyans are free to protest. These sentiments come as Mbere North Member of Parliament Geoffrey Ruku pushes for a law that will impose a jail term to Kenyans who participate in demonstrations that have not been permitted by the state. The bill will see demonstrators face up to one year in prison or a 100,000 shilling fine or both. George Moringa, the details. As Kenyans prepare for another round of protests against the contentious Finance Bill 2024-2025 on Thursday, President William Ruto has finally broken his silence. And uh, civil society is free to do what they, they want to do. We are a democratic country, we have no problem. Those who want to demonstrate, they can demonstrate, it is their right, no problem. But the decisions have to be made by institutions. We will make uh, decisions as the executive. We will take it to the, to the uh, uh, um, legislature. People, in, uh, uh, people of Kenya will speak to it through public participation. Others will uh, go and subject it to court processes. That is how a democracy works. The head of state who was speaking in Ainamoy, Kericho County, was quick to state his position on the demonstrations which have made headlines far and wide. And I am a great believer in a democracy. And I will make sure that Kenya continues to be a robust democracy where people speak their mind and we all assist in taking the country where we all want it to be. Even as we transit the country, from, you know, the quicksand of debt to the solid foundation of taxes and do domestically mobilized resources. We have to do it in a manner that our institutions of governance play a part and are part of it. For the better part of Wednesday, members of parliament debated on the bill with each side maintaining their stand on proposals and amendments. On this one, President Ruto was quick to enumerate the roles of institutions. We propose, we make proposals as the executive. The legislature interrogates those proposals. They also, because it's a requirement of the constitution, they take it for public participation. The people of Kenya inform because the decision we make as government or as the executive are not final because the people of Kenya ultimately must speak to every program, every tax that we raise, every uh, policy that we put in place. The people of Kenya must speak to it so that it gives it legitimacy. And whereas the head of state did not fail to pronounce his stand as well, Baron North Member of Parliament Geoffrey Ruku has proposed the Assembly and Demonstration Bill 2024 that seeks to have the state regulate public demonstrations and protests. If approved, the bill will have far-reaching consequences on organizations and individual members of the public who organize public protests and gatherings. According to the provisions of the bill, the regulating officer or police will give several conditions without which the planned protest cannot be permitted. Will the proposed Assembly and Demonstration Bill 2024 see the light of day? Time will tell. George Maringa, TV 47.